Dylan O'Brien might not be casted as Spider-Man, but you know what he is? He is a freaking Maze Runner. Now use those legs, Dylan, and run, 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 run! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Maze Runner The Scorch Trials. So Maze Runner The Scorch Trials is based off of the best selling novels, you know, in the Maze Runner book series. It is from Wes Ball who also directed the first Maze Runner so he's returned to direct this sequel and it does have Dylan O'Brien as well as the rest of the cast returning for this sequel. Maze Runner The Scorch Trials. It's kind of a spoiler if you haven't seen the first film, but I kind of need to do it at this point. The group now finds themselves with this organization known as Wicked. When Thomas finds out what this organization has been up to, Thomas and the gang escape from this organization and now they have to go through the Scorch Trials in order to avoid them. So now Thomas and the gang are out on the run on the Scorch Trials and the organization Wicked is out to go get Thomas and them. Going into the Scorch Trials I will say I was actually very interested to see this because the trailer for this film was actually better than the trailers for The Maze Runner. I remember the trailers for The Maze Runner not really impressing me, but the trailers for The Scorch Trials actually caught my attention. Now as for the movie The Maze Runner, which came out really exactly just one year ago, I will say I was for the most part pretty surprised with that movie. I do think overall it's an okay decent movie at best because the first two acts of the movie they were really strong they were really entertaining I was getting entertained by it but the biggest problem I did have with the Maze Runner was the third act which got all over the place got really sloppy and then it hits the final 10 minute mark which just turned into utter crap with the Scorch Trials, however, I was hoping it would be better than the first Maze Runner. I am actually very pleased to say I enjoyed the Scorch Trials more than I did with the Maze Runner. In fact, I would go as far to say that when this film starts out, I was already invested in it. This movie was fantastic. You know, it opened how it needed to open. It kind of gave you like a little brief backstory to Thomas. Like they didn't have to go into details. They just kind of showed you and just went to the plot. And I really appreciated how the movie did that. I definitely will say this time around, even though I do think the first film for the most part was very well directed, the direction here by Wes Ball was actually even better to be honest and I thought it was a better written movie as well. I thought the script for The Scorch Trials was actually very solid. I wanted Thomas and the gang to still be alive. Thomas and the gang are just running all over the place during The Scorch Trials, running into these zombie-like creatures who run super fast by the way. You know it's not like your cliche zombies where they're actually going Ugh. These zombies run so freaking fast. Action sequences literally had me at the edge of my seat. It was very exciting. It was very intense. It was so dang gritty. And a lot of that credit goes to Wes Ball because he adds so much scope into the action sequences and the cinematography. It looks absolutely gorgeous to the movie. And it really adds a lot to this world. Dylan O'Brien once again really kills it as Thomas. He's very fantastic as this character. This is the character I personally think is very strong because of how he cares about his team and how he actually won't leave. Like he shows what a good leader he is. He's actually not willing to leave without his team whenever they're in some kind of danger. And the rest of the other actors, they do a very nice job with their parts, including the actors that just got introduced into this movie, you know, for the new characters that the movie's introducing to us. And we do get to see 
Gus from Breaking Bad and he is just so awesome. It was so good to see Gus in the Scorched Trials. It was just really interesting to see the conflicts that these characters had to face. These characters aren't some real danger. I did say in my review for The Maze Runner how the first film would have been great if it was just standalone. I think after seeing The Scorched Trials, I can honestly say I'm happy they did make a sequel. I still hate the ending to The Maze Runner though. Like that ending was so in your face. But The Scorched Trials, they definitely kept what was good about the first one, but they just made it more better and more interesting and more immersive. The execution is even better too. The scenes with the action or even when the film slows down with the characters, it is very well executed and thankfully unlike the first film even though the ending to this film does have the obvious oh yeah we're setting up for the final film in this series you know it doesn't feel in your face they're not like oh look here's a setup here's a setup they just kind of tell you oh here we're setting up for this next installment but it doesn't feel in your face and it's actually tolerable unlike the ending to the first film. Oh and I also have to point this out but just like with the Maze Runner I'm honestly so grateful this young adult series doesn't shoehorn a love story like you have no idea how grateful I am and look I love love stories all right I do enjoy seeing stories of two people falling in love but with these young adult stories, I feel like they're just very shoehorned and they just don't work for the situations that happen. So it's just nice to see that with the Maze Runner series, they don't use a love story to shoehorn in. They focus on the challenges, the conflicts that these characters have to face together. And I truly appreciate that. There's like one scene in this movie that maybe gives a little hint but it's not like it was ever really explored. So for that, I was definitely very relieved. And I did absolutely like the climax. The climax was just very intense and had me at the edge of my seat, just like with the other action set pieces in this movie. Now, my only flaws with the Scorch Trials is that I don't think the second half was as strong as the first half. I still thought the second half of the movie was good and I still was very invested in the second half just because of the characters and the characters that the movie introduced us to. But I just didn't think it was as exciting as the first half because the first half was like a non-stop ride and halfway through the movie it literally stops and really starts to slow down a bit. Like starting at this party scene, halfway through the movie, which is a scene that completely threw me off. It did take me out of the movie just a little bit. That's when I did feel like the movie started to lose some of its steam, but just some of it. And it does start to pick itself back up when we have the set of new characters introduced to us because that is when the film does start to focus on some character development, not a whole lot, but there is some. And speaking of character development, I do think the movie could have had better character development because while what the second half did provide with the character development was well done enough, I felt like it wasn't really explored upon more. Just like with the first film, I did mention how the first film didn't have very good special effects with those, I forgot the name of the creatures in the first film, but I did say how the special effects for them didn't look that great. And I and the special effects on these zombie looking creatures, they didn't look that good. They looked pretty practical for a while in the movie and then it gets like really CGI heavy. Like I said, the movie does slow down a bit once you reach to the second half. So I do think the second half could have had more stronger pacing to it. And there were a few character motivations that I thought felt pretty out of place. But overall guys, I thought Maze Runner The Scorched Trials was very well done. It is a sequel worth watching in my opinion. I definitely enjoyed it more than the first. Even though the first was decent entertaining, this one was actually really entertaining, very memorable. I cared about the characters more here. I thought it was better directed. I thought it was definitely better written. The ending, while setting up for the third and final installment in the franchise, it was actually good. The action set pieces were very exciting and thrilling.
thrilling. And even if the second half may not be as good as the first half, I still really did enjoy the second half of the Scorch Trials. So, Maze Runner The Scorch Trials is indeed getting three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of Maze Runner The Scorch Trials? Do you so far like the first movie better, the second movie better, are you equal on it? And also, have you read the Maze Runner book series? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!